it's uh, May 30th, Saturday evening. Uh, as you are away from uh, my previous videos, two days ago, on Friday, the police and the UNHCR have vanished and destroyed my shelter, which was here under this tree. It was the fourth shelter that was being destroyed. For the, this was the fourth time that they destroyed my shelter. Last uh, night, uh, uh, I was working on the video that I published today, two hours or three hours ago. I didn't sleep actually until morning, and um, uh, it took me until like two at the afternoon to prepare that video and let it go and publish it. So now I'm very really tired. After uh, almost two days I was able to get some food from somewhere. I paid for it. So uh, now that's where I am staying now. This is my sleeping bag and that's the unit CR's office as you know so the unit CR so I will be sleeping here oh this is me in a sleeping bag here this is a sleeping bag I got yesterday in front of the unit CR's office the United Nations office The entrance of the building. Hello, everyone. It's Sunday, May 31, 2020. So last, time, last night I slept here. Actually, on the other side, if you can see over there. But it's now sunny at the morning. I had to move to this side. There is six shade here so last night they didn't call the police I suppose and uh, actually the last time that they also destroyed my shelter uh, I was sleeping here like I don't know for a few weeks they called the police a few times but then they put me in prison I don't know how is it going to be this time I don't think I will be able to sleep here, as I said, in a few weeks, because, as I said, I don't have any more money, and I will have to be... I will be forced into announcing my second hunger strike. I don't know under once what circumstances I will do that, whether I will be able to, you know, install my fifth shelter here, or I will do other things. I, I have no idea. Um, we have to wait and see. And maybe on the formal days, the working days, I will be, rather than sleeping here, I will be sitting at the entrance, sleeping as well at the entrance, rather than sleeping here. Well, this cannot go on like this. Police and UNHCR, you know, destroy my shelter again and again and offer us no place to stay in. And, um, and as you are also aware, I have been formally asking uh, to be accommodated literally for this all three years that I have been protesting here at the doorsteps of the UNHCR's office. Every letter almost I sent, I asked that I need to be accommodated, but they never cared. So. They made me now again homeless and the police did it or not. with the help of UNHCR or with the order from UNHCR or they acted independently. I, 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 I can't be sure about that. But they have to find me a place. I mean, what is this? 
So that's that's it for this video. I'm just going to show you later the unit CR's logo of the building and in my sleeping bag my and my bag here. And uh, that's it. So that's the unit CR as I said. And here is my shelter. Uh, let me show you this way too. Uh, this is me, and that's the unit CR logo. And here is my shelter, sleeping right at the unit CR's office. And this is not the first time that this is happening, and it, it just keeps happening again and again, like a vicious circle. And um, uh, actually, they turned uh, us into subjects of radical, playing with us, humiliating us, torturing us, making us, you know, our situation worse and worse. And uh, that would be this for this video. I, I, I hope I would be able to publish it as soon as I can some uh, shops are open now uh, last uh, yesterday evening I found a shop uh, that gives services outside and uh, there was they had also electricity I will be going and um, do my editing of this video and I hopefully I will be able to publish it uh, later uh, tonight or maybe tomorrow I don't know I will try to publish it tonight and I'm also asking right now again the international community the human rights organizations activist groups uh, law firms every, anybody uh, individuals anybody who is concerned about this situation uh, as you saw from uh, my other videos, I mean the Greek institutions, they are, they, are, they are really lying and covering up our situations. They are not reporting the actual situation, they are not reporting individual cases. So many individual cases, so many individuals have been, their lives being destroyed in this country. They lost even maybe uh, their lives because of this. Uh, totally monstrous and inhumane situations that they impose on people and then the civil society they don't care I mean they are happy ignorant people they just happy for us to be in this situation not any much better they don't want anything for us they want us to be in the worst conditions possible and uh, they all together in their own way as they can participate in creating and worsening our situation uh, for as long as they can until they reach their goals I don't know what is their goals ultimate their uh, aim maybe forcing people to leave the country forcing people to return to their country uh, exploiting refugees, taking or uh, and stealing all their assets, and not um, necessarily directly. I mean, just take my case for example. They deprive me of everything in this country, having access to nothing. And if I am alive up to this day, if I am still surviving up to this day, it's only because I had some savings. Uh, and um, and I and it's only because of that that I have been surviving for this long. Otherwise, I don't know. I have no idea what else could have been happening happened to me. I mean, everything is open to a possibility. And um, yes, please help. Please help. Come and find me here at the UNHCR's office 
Now that my shelter is not here, maybe you can, if you didn't see me here, uh, send a message from Facebook or an email. I will be certainly trying to uh, install my fifth shelter as soon as I can, but I don't know before I do that if there are other things that I would uh, do. I don't know. I will uh, have to think what I will do and uh, I need to bring this case to the attention of the human rights uh, court, European human rights court, uh, international courts. Uh, this cannot go on like this. The Greek state and the Greek government, the Greek society, the organizations, the UNHCR, they cannot do this to us. They have no rights. They cannot do this to us. I mean, if they if they don't want us, as I said, I mean, I in my previous video, I clearly I asked the police and send me to a deportation camp. Well, that, you cannot do this to me. You cannot do this to anybody. Uh, open the border and let me go. They have options. I don't have any options. My hands are cuffed but they, their hands are open, they have a lot of possibilities. They can ask UNHCR to uh, transfer me from this office to another UNHCR's office inside or outside Europe, wherever I can address my resettlement, my inquiry for resettlement and get a proper response without you know, having to go through all these uh, struggles, all this pain and suffering. Uh, and. Um, Please help. I also maybe need donations um, aside from the legal aid. Uh, if you have a good tent, maybe you could bring it to me. I need some timbers. I will need some timbers to put it inside my tent. Uh, I need some blankets. Um, and so. As I said, I also financial aid. I will also have a, a court during uh, this week on uh, June 4th for the same issue. Same issue. It's an old case. They I've been summoned again, and I don't have a lawyer, and uh, I haven't been able to find a lawyer. So if anybody can uh, do a representation for me during this court, for this court, on June 4th, uh, in about four days from now, again, please uh, uh, reach out to me, please find me, and uh, uh, you know where you can find me, there are many ways, as I said, Facebook, email, or come and find me here in person, and um, thank you very much, this is for this video. Have a good day. Bye.